Hey there, Tracy Tim here, and you are watching the Nth Degree TV, the place to be to take your career, your life, from stuck to unstoppable. And I'm so excited to be here with you today because today is episode number one woo of the Nth Degree TV. And yes, it's 2017, and yes, I love YouTube, and sure, I probably should have been doing this a long time ago. But I wanted to talk to you today about the fact that I was absolutely terrified of starting to do video. And that's what I want to get into today because I don't want you guys allowing your fears to keep you from doing the things that you know you're meant to do or going to the places that you know you're meant to be. So here's what happened. I was working with my mastermind, uh, these two guys who I adore, Ryan and Andrew. And if you don't know what a mastermind is, all that is is a group of like-minded people getting together and helping each other with their business or their life or their career. And I knew I was gonna relaunch the website in April, and so I told them, yeah, I'm gonna do this content strategy where every other you know, three weeks or so I'm gonna do a video. And Ryan said, well, why are you waiting for three weeks from now? And I said, well, actually, I'm kind of terrified of it. Everybody's videos these days are so beautiful. They have so much production value. Um, and it's just intimidating because they're so far ahead and I don't know how to get involved and he said okay so do you really want to do video and I said yes and he said is the only thing keeping you from doing it the fact that you're a little afraid and I said yes it is <laughs> and he told me I guarantee in your life there have been other times that you've done something that you were terrified of and you had amazing results because of it so you need to remind yourself of those times write them down, get excited about them again, remind yourself that really great things come on the other side of fear, and get the video done. <laughs> so I said, okay, Ryan, fine, and then Andrew piped in and said, that should be your first video. You should tell people about times in your life when you thought everything was gonna go wrong, when you were absolutely terrified of doing whatever it was you were gonna do, but it worked out great. So that's what I'm gonna tell you today, three times in my life that that's happened to me, and I want you to use this as inspiration to get over the hump, to do the thing that you're telling yourself you can't do, or you're too afraid to do, or you don't know what people think, will think if you do it, right? We're also worried about that. Uh, so I wanna give you these three stories to give you a little bit of inspiration. So the first one is actually from college. I grew up playing softball my entire life, and I was fortunate enough to uh, get recruited to play softball in college. And it took me to a beautiful school, a place where I never really thought I would end up uh, at Yale University. And I fell in love with it. But two years into school, I, I was hating my life playing softball. I didn't enjoy it anymore. It wasn't any fun. But I just didn't know if I could quit. I was terrified of what people would think. I was terrified of not being able to identify myself anymore as a softball player. And I didn't know what would happen if I made that really tough decision. Um, I finally decided to do it, and what ended up happening was I, it opened my world to all these other possibilities that I could be doing uh, instead of taking those 40 hours a week that I was playing softball with. So I actually joined the Yale Daily News, and it was at the Yale Daily News that I wrote my very first article, which actually inspired, believe it or not, the blog that I write today. So. If I had not left that job, if, or I'm sorry, if I had not left that, that job, it felt like a job. Uh, if I hadn't left that team and opened my life up to all those other possibilities, who knows if this would have even become a reality. So that was the first one. So where in your life maybe can you let go of something that you're holding on to uh, that's maybe you're afraid to let go of it and, and that's really holding you back. Number two was actually uh, my very first job. Uh, right out of college, I wanted to do something that I'll, I'll let you know right now, made a lot of money so I could take care of my family and, and sort of pay them back for what they had done for me. And I ended up on Wall Street, which many of you might have you know, seen movies about or maybe you've done it before. Um, it's an interesting place, to say the least. <laughs> uh, and I knew two years into it that I didn't want to be there anymore. Uh, but it took another six months for me to build up the courage to finally leave. and. I really, really, really was terrified of not having a job, of not having benefits, of, of leaving something that I knew that many other people would be jealous of or overjoyed to have, and I just didn't want it. 
Um, but I had, I really, really got to the point where I was miserable enough that I just had to leave. So once I finally did, again, opened up my life to this great amount of possibilities. So I ended up uh, going on a trip around the world and I ended up studying with great entrepreneurs and professors and I met some incredible mentors who literally shaped the business that I have today. And if I had never had the courage to leave that job just because I was afraid, uh, my life would not be the same. So where in your life can you start to open up to more possibilities because whatever's afraid is kind of holding you back. So number three is actually the most recent. It was starting a business. And I know not everybody can commiserate with that and knows exactly what it's like, but uh, the idea of going out on your own and again, not having dental or not being able to maybe pay all of your bills in a given month, but knowing deep down you have something that you wanna give and just being afraid to put it out there. Um, it took years for me to actually decide this is what I need to do. And what I realized was that the fear of it not working out, the fear of not being able to take care of myself, the fear of basically being alone out in the world really was holding me back like crazy. Uh, but when I finally decided to fully commit to it, I love my life now. I have the freedom that I want. I get to work with the clients that I want. I, I it's, it's fundamentally changed the way that I live my life for the better. And if I had never done it, right, if I had let fear keep me from doing it, I, things wouldn't be the same today. And of course you wouldn't be receiving this beautiful video. <laughs> so I wanna challenge you, where in your life can you start to do the things that you're afraid of. Maybe it's quitting that job that you just tolerate or hate, right? Or maybe it's picking up some new thing in your life that you're afraid, you know, people won't really know how to, to deal with that or they won't understand what you're doing. Where are you letting fear dictate your actions? And look back on your life and come up with three to five times that, that you overcame fear, because I know you did it. I know you're not sitting there watching this video going, I've never done anything that I was afraid of. That can't be true. Think about a few times that you've done that and, and really figure out what good came from it and allow that to fuel you to make even harder decisions in the future. All right, so thanks so much for being here. Um, as always, you need to go over to tracytim.com. All the comments are there and all of the awesome conversation gets started over there, so leave me a comment. If you like this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is a little baby channel, right? It's brand new, but I'm really excited to have it, so subscribe. And of course, share this with your friends. If you have some friends who really need that kick in the butt that only you can provide, send them this video. They need it. Uh, and of course, you know, if you want any more updates, I send out emails every single week with awesome uh, inspirational things and content that I only share in email please sign up for my email subscription. It is on tracytim.com. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for being here. Just remember that on the other side of fear are all the amazing things that you want and you can have in your life. And I hope that you love this video. Talk to you guys soon. Ah! <laughs> oh, that'll be good for the outtakes.